Hello. This time on Crash Test Dummy TV. Hello. I am doing something different. For a client, I kind of promised I'd build a pond area. There's a quick photo of it. Um, yeah, built a pond area. You probably can't see that side because it's too dark. But I kind of promised them that I'd make some kind of seat. So, I've grabbed a stump from a mate's big block and I'm going to build this into a seat. What I'm trying to do is cover up one of these manholes and make it a little bit better. So, what I've started with, this is pine. So what I've started with is getting rid of the rotten stuff. I'm going to use a chainsaw and scallop the middle out of it. But I uh, kind of wanted to get a, an idea of what's soft and what's not to start with. So I think I might use that as a foot. That area is a foot. That's a bit weak. I've got some chemical there that I can spray on the wood. It will absorb in and dry and crystallise. Basically I'm going to try and utilise the outside of the wood as the foot but I will be putting you know like four things or whatever little raising feet things keep it off the ground but I've got a lot of cleaning up to do I want to take all the bark out and expose all that beautiful wood natural grain so I've got a bit of cleaning to do a bit of mess making Oops, there's a soft spot. I'm not going to worry too much about soft spots on the edge because everyone knows there's rings in a tree. Well, if you're careful, you can smooth it or file it, sand it, whichever, rasp it down to those layers and then uh, sand it up and then end up with a nice layer. So I might even have to do that. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with uh, watching me do this, but clean up all the crap, get rid of all the loose stuff, rotten stuff, etc, and see what you're left with. Tools I'll be using, obviously, flathead screwdriver, chisel, because after all it barks off you can go with the grain and just smooth it all off a little. I don't want to smooth it too much because some of those wiggly little lines, the growth lines, the uh, the worm lines, that sort of thing, they actually look quite uh, attractive. So, yeah, I'm just going to smooth it over, so to say. Cool. I'll keep on going and we'll pick up next stage. progressed somewhat since uh, like five seconds ago or ten seconds um, now I have given the outside a good scrub with a wire brush uh, I have gotten crunch that sander into it a lot that is a 40 40 grade 428 it's polyester anyway 7K, sorry, Z, ZK713X4028. Made in Germany, ah! Oh. Anyway, it's from a uh, continual belt sander um, that was broken, and well, why not use it all? It's brand new anyway. Uh, now I've been using the orbital and uh, just getting the rough bits out, so I uh, thought I'd bring you on this journey for a little bit. Where I'm up to, I'm up to about here. 
I'm spitting a bit of water out the uh, airline too so if you see any drops that's what it is those lines if you can see them the coarse lines is what I'm getting rid of now I'm trying to My air compressor can't keep up. Anyway, I'll let the air compressor catch up a little bit and then I'll continue. I've got roughly about a quarter to go, but I'm just smoothing off. I, uh, I might get a little bit coarser because I think this is uh, it's gone too smooth. So I'll get another bit of another pad and do another run. And then uh, pick up then. Oh, I've also got to get my uh, flat sander into that bit, smooth off the edge, make that as smooth as possible because I want to bring out all the colour. I, uh, the lady has uh, got kids or grandkids, kids, um, so I want the kids to uh, <laughs> be occupied with counting rings to tell grandma or mum how uh, how old the tree is or was anyway groovy so we'll pick up in a minute right the circle left the circle right the circle left the circle breathe in breathe out Right the circle, left the circle, right the circle. All right, now I have sanded it with the my orbital air sander. I still want to get some more of these scratches out but I think I've filled them now but I'm going to be keeping uh, continuing on hang on, start again I've sanded it down with the orbital got it smooth as all these uh, cracks and so forth I decided I'd uh, fill those up hopefully it's not going to expand and contract too much um, but I am putting marine varnish over the whole lot so hopefully it's going to seal the top at least sides can breathe that's fine as long as it doesn't rot out um, so yeah I'm not going to make any noise it is night time uh, so I'll pull the orbital out and get this skin off properly and uh, bring back some of this uh, natural color you know and limit down the uh, yeah the pine pine wood filler don't think I'm too happy with the color but anyway uh, as you saw, if you apply a little bit of water or spit, it'll give you an indication of what the, uh, the colour is going to be when it's all lacquered. Uh, I'm trying to achieve a, a bit of a colour like this to match up with this pond. I'm going to sit it on, on that uh, round concrete thing right there with the arrows pointing. Hmm, groovy. Sort of value add the job and cover that. Uh, it's a stormwater drain cover. Uh, some backyards of houses have them and it's ugly and you need to make it, leave access to it all the time so I'm just going to paint it put this stump on top job done bit of garden art match the pond bring all that nature in man anyway I'm going to put this down for now dust myself off and pick it up tomorrow when I can make some no more noise. Anyway, speak to you in a minute, or a second, or in three, two, one, now. All right, rocking along here. I've been working my way from the centre out in a ring 
using it as I'll show you. Now I've got around a point where I'm here and I'm just going to work my way around the edge anti-clockwise. But basically I reckon it's just about ready to start lacquering after this is done. So I'll just finish it off. Hello all. Alright, I've got to this stage. I've done a very thin down, well not very thin down, about 20-30%, um, might have been 40 max, can't remember. <laughs> as long as you've got a little bit more lacquer than you do the thinner, in this case it was terps, because um, the first one you really want to penetrate in uh, everywhere, all over top, bottom, sides, everywhere. Now you will, once it's dry, you will feel it rough. Um, in between coats, what's happening is the grain, or the initial coat, the first coat definitely, the, pardon my nails, they're dirty, the, um, uh, uh, you, you painted, painted the lacquer into it, and um, what happens is the grain is bloating up, so on the surface you'll get it lifting up and separating, so it just feels like uh, it, rough feels rough not smooth to the touch um, so you've got to give it a very light uh, sand now what I've used is the very, the first pad that I used which is really not like paper but it was slightly gritty paper um, that's the best one well not the best one to use um, but you want smooth I think you would like uh, a vehicle you get your wet and dry out in the end wet and dry might actually work but don't use it wet you don't want to wait for it to dry in between coats now what I am doing now is, I've got a bit of uh, Jarra interior stain left. Now what I'm going to do, because I'm not happy with it, I'm going to stain up this wood filler. Now you want to try and keep in the lines because it will uh, stain up the outside bit, but if you do have to go outside the line, have a rag nearby so you can just give it a bit of a wipe and you'll see there's a smear there but it actually looks like part of the grain that little point there um, so yeah it's going to color it up nicely so I'm going to keep going with this and you can sit there and watch the sped up version using the rag obviously I'm forcing it in but I'm giving it a, uh, a smear around as well which is blending it in at the same time um, I'll give it a little bit of a cover on these probably doesn't matter so much but just to blend it in with the top a little bit sand cool all right what I'm gonna do now these are just crappy cans I've had lying around forever so don't throw your stuff out you might use it one day look at that it's come up nice okay so I'm gonna give that uh, top time to cure off or dry, whichever you want to call it. And next, I'll be uh, giving the outside a uh, quick rub down. 
um, before I do the top finish I want to put it upside down and uh, give the underneath just a bit of a coat um, but instead of good stuff I've found you know Estopolix Terrier Clear there's some other clear there's that's what I'm using that's another exterior no interior use only but I'll use that for the first coat and uh, yeah just use up all my bits and bobs groovy all right I'll uh, see you in a minute Now, I've put another coat. This is the first coat after the thin down coat. And uh, I'll be putting another coat after this. But this is like the first sealer. Look at that color. I love the color of wood. Hmm. Anyway, just thought I'd show you this coat. sanded that down a bit better but I didn't yeah anyway this is the first thick coat I've now got to leave it for 24 hours and I'll be putting another coat on and if you can see in some bits just here you've got uh, the lacquers absorbing into the soft wood already and that's a good thing that's what you want because eventually you want to have that sheen all over the top so it's got to seal up the wood first and then uh, another layer on top seal again if you have to another layer on top seal again if you have to sandy in between each coat now the can it is marine grade tier, clear timber varnish in satin and it is actually for uh, boats um, that's why I chose this for my car because it's got UV protection, Nano Z, and it's actually um, been wearing well in the car, even though the sun can see through the windows and beam onto the wood. It hasn't affected the uh, the lacquer, the gloss, the varnish, whatever you want to call it. So mm, this should do very nicely with a stump sitting outside in the weather all the time. I hope but as I said earlier this is just to finish off a pond landscape that I did she wanted all natural looking so I made a fake rock pond with fish petrified stump and this stump is just to cover a uh, big old concrete manhole cover groovy awesome all right I'm going to sit back and uh, watch this dry for 24 hours. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'll speak to you all soon for the second coat. Third coat. Hello. All right, getting some warmth happening. Look at this colour. Beautiful come through nicely. I certainly count the rings now. All right, what I'm going to use is a bit of P400 wet and dry, but I'm going to use it dry just because I'm a rebel. And I give it a bit more of a smooth off. And then I'll give it another coat and see how we go as far as uh, needing another coat after that of course you're better off using a circular motion well it's sort of arbitrary the uh, reason I say circular is because of the, uh, what, the straight lines which isn't that critical at this later stage because you're using clear it's uh, 
I prefer circular because you get more circles in nature than you do straight lines. Here's my leg. Come here. But you don't get fluff trapped on the uh, grain too. Because that'll annoy you. You see a little bit of fluff on the painting, varnishing, whatever you want to call it. Alright. Now it's ready to varnish again. Cure. Alright, time for the next coat of the varnish. Look at this colour. Look at the colour of this wood. Cool. Alright, I'm going to stop the video just now. What will appear seconds to you will be a little, little, little bit of setup time, etc. for me. See you in a bit. Okay, now I've just got the top to do. Working out from the centre. Usually easier, better. More even. Get back to your starting point. Right, <clears throat> should be plenty. I hope. If I do need another coat, I'm only going to do the top, nowhere else. Because that's all it'll need, it, I reckon. If it does, groovy. All right. All right. Why is that a little bit wet? bit of moisture on it. Alright, I'm going to weigh this. Try. Approximate anyway. What do we got? About 55... No, about 57, 58 kilo. Or thereabouts. I'll say about 55. Cool. All right, this is all finished. I've got to go deliver it today. So, next time you need a little stool or a, something decorative, do it yourself. Not that hard. Well, depending on what you're making. <laughs> I didn't make anything with this really. I just uh, covered the crap out of it with um, lacquer. And I hope that's not getting underneath there. I like it. I don't mind it. For the effect that I'm trying to get, I think I've achieved it. Which, uh, what I'm trying to achieve is natural. So, cool. This is all natural. I think in some areas I could have sanded it better. You see these ghostings just here. That's actually, that's actually more filler around this bit. Sort of through that line. Pretty sure it's filler. Looks like it. Groovy. Alright. Let's uh, deliver this. In the back of the car, on a trolley. Well, not on a trolley in the back of the car, but in the back of the car. And what I removed, I weighed this whole thing, tub and all, and that was five kilos. So I'm going to go with that. That all I was able to take out was five kilo, because 
even though that looks chunky and solid, it barely registers. Mighty, this isn't the best thing, but yeah, that barely registers, so very light. Cool. Thanks for coming with me on this journey. Just made a stump look pretty. Groovy. One thing where I did get this stump from, I was talking to him the other day, and uh, he had, I don't know if it was off this same tree, you can almost see it here, but he had one stump that he regrets. Uh, the guy took some wood away as firewood, and um, one of the stumps was like Australia. I mean, this, this would have been Cairns, Northern Territory up here, WA down here, uh, Queensland, Sydney, and then Melbourne down here. So you can kind of see it here, but it's not exact. So I would have loved that stump. That would have been look, look really good as a coffee table or something, even just a slither. Groovy. Have a look at some of these pictures. Get a few ideas. Just get a piece of wood and varnish it. Lovely. Bye. one's throat. Alright, clean up time.